Okay, so this is a quick review of the Specialized Globe Hall ST. The ST stands for short, basically wheelbase. It's not as long as a lot of the uh, cargo bikes. This is how the bike comes standard. Um, comes with a 775 watt hour battery. Um, I did add the front rack here, which is an easy bolt on. I have the plastic panniers over there. I haven't put them on yet. There's the charger. So I'm just getting, getting it set up. I've ridden it a couple times. Pretty fast little bike. I'm going to see how it commutes tomorrow. My commute is 30 miles each way. So I'm going to load up the stuff I need to take for work. And I'm going to get the bike set up for that for tomorrow. Okay, so here are the plastic panniers that go on. Now everything I've read about them is they're pretty good. Um, they will rattle though, because they are plastic, but um, you have the mount on the back, which basically locks on to the rack itself. And then this will go around the bottom part to keep it from bouncing like this, right? You have the handle here so you can pull them on and off pretty quick and they come with a uh, bungee cord which i'll show you bungee cords in here to keep your items inside the box from flying out so let's put them on so basically you can put them here One, okay, so they're on right there. So you can see they're on here pretty deep, will hold a lot. There's also a plug in there, so if they do something spills in there like milk or something like that you can drain it and wash it fill it up with water it will hold water um, these little areas here are where you put the net on so i'll show you how that works but you can see they fit nicely on the bike you can put them on the front but you have to buy a pannier uh, mount that goes on the front fork and then you can mount two in the back two in the front or two in the front and a bag in the back, whatever you want. It's very versatile um, for that. Okay, so let me show you how the cargo net fits on there. So you can see, you could put the cargo nets on a couple different ways. It's very versatile, depending on what kind of stuff you have inside the actual um, container but you can use that. You can also use these to strap onto here. So if you just had something light, you could strap it onto the, the bike there, okay? Um, I have used these on my uh, milk crates also, and they hold on pretty good and work pretty well, okay? So that's that. Now let me show you the um, the seat and the handle, I'm gonna just set them on there. They're not mounted yet. And then I also have the pegs. So let me show you how that looks on the bike. Okay, these are the pegs. So these pegs basically go in here like this, okay? You do have to remove the wheel to put them on. You don't have enough clearance um, to be able to put them on without removing the wheel. So you do have to the center stand uh, and remove the wheel, screw both these on, and then you're good to go. I just haven't put them on yet. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to remove the uh, panniers. So basically, you just lift up or press these down. Pull them up. Pretty 
pretty simple. Okay, and that's it. That's how you take them off. And you can hold them like this. Um, one last thing that I, I found out that I wanted to tell everybody who's kind of either has this bike or thinking about buying this bike. It does have Bluetooth capability and it has an app which is pretty good where you can lock the bike and things like that. Um, I did reach out to Specialize and asked if you could connect the unit since it's got Bluetooth to a Garmin, a Hammerhead, Carew, or a Wahoo and measure your e-bike range off of that. They responded with no, not currently, but they will forward on to their design team. So just so you know, if you try to spend the time to um, have all your data, like your battery and range and all that show on your Garmin, Wahoo, or Hammerhead uh, K2, it will not work. You have to use their app or the controller on the handlebar to read your range. Okay, just wanted to let everybody know I already did that research. Cargo bike phone, which again, this thing weighs about 75 pounds. So I pick it up with your legs, of course. Get it lined up on the rack. Always do the front wheel first. It helps hold it in place. And then you want to really cinch it up. And there you go. It's pretty sturdy. It's going to hold the rack. Now, you figure if I've got to get something out of the trunk, I can. Bring this down. And it will hold the bike. As you can see, to then open up the rear area okay then you basically can close that and you can just bring it back up it's a lot of weight on that rack like that but you can see But you can see the bike is very sturdy on the rack. I definitely recommend this rack, especially for this bike. You wanna make sure you have good pressure on the tires. Let's go around the front. So you see it indented in the tire. That way you know it's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's how to carry this bike. I probably would pull off the crate um, when I take it with me, just so the stuff for my dog doesn't blow around in the wind. I usually remove anything that I don't want to fall off and potentially get broken or lost. So I got these pedals, I had these pedals and I can use a regular shoe on this side or an SPD type mountain bike shoe on the other side. I typically will just use my normal shoes for just going to the store, but if I'm doing a longer commute and I wanna get locked in or clipped in, I'm gonna use my mountain bike shoes there. So there's a couple different variations of those pedals out there. They're relatively cheap also. Again, so you can see the bike is pretty sturdy. Um, I'm fortunate this bike will fit inside this car with both wheels on and I just have to slide it in there. But it is quite heavy. 
So it does make it cumbersome lifting in and out. Okay, the other thing I recommend to buy, and I have three of them, is this MK adapter. So this adapter, you put it on um, your bag, your box. So I have it on both of my um, milk crates. So I can put them on relatively easy and take them on relatively easy. If not, you gotta tie wrap them to the racks and that's kind of a pain in the ass. So what I try to do is use these brackets on the bottom of the milk crates, which I'm gonna show you one installed right depending on which direction you want it if you want it this way or this way what i found is putting it putting it this way when putting it that way on the back your legs can hit the back of this because the seat is kind of far back right that's the number one issue. If you move this back, then when you're carrying it on a rack, it hits this. So I found the best solution was to put the rack like this. And it basically clicks in to the rack itself. Okay, kind of like the one in the front. Okay, so it'll click in like that. Okay. Then you use this tool when you want to remove it so nobody can just steal your, your box. And it pops in here, boop, and it releases whatever you're carrying. So highly recommend those for your, for your bike to move around your, um, your different types of things you're carrying, okay? Um, I can move all my boxes from the front to the rear. Um, so I mounted one sideways for the back and this one, but I can still put this one on the back if I'm not carrying on my rack, okay? The rack will get in the way if I have it long ways. Just the way I've tried to figure out what would uh, fit best for what I'm trying to do. So there you are. There's the, my first review on the Specialized Globe Hall um, ST, short tail. So the longest ride I've done is 30 miles each way to work. So a total of about 60, 61 miles. Done a lot of little short trips. Um, pretty great bike. I wish I had a little better range, but it is a heavy bike and does carry a lot of weight. Um, but I think what it's really designed for is to take away your short trip. So I'm going to really focus the rest of the year using this bike for any trip under 10 miles one way. And uh, try to make it replace my car for those type of trips. Obviously there's always exceptions to those. But I'm going to really try to see what kind of mileage I have on it by the end of the year. Um, and I'll just reduce that off my car usage. All right, so hopefully you like this video, and if you like more content, I'll share more commuting tips and things like that on this bike. But please subscribe, like, and comment if you want to see any type of test on this type of bike or anything like that. I'll be glad to do it, so send me a comment. All right, get out there and ride your bike.